Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Mommy Long Legs from Poppy Playtime. So let's get started. To draw this cute pink spider, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And then let's come right next to it, say about right here, not too far apart, and we're going to draw another circle. There. Then let's come in here. We're going to draw another circle. Right inside, right in the center. And another one. So I'm going to put a highlight right here first, a small little circle right here on that corner. And then I'm going to surround it with another circle. And this is the part I shade in right here. There. And then let's do the same thing over here. And then this part right here is where you would put the color of her eyes. Okay, so now that we have that, let's come to the center about right here. And I'm just going to draw three lashes that radiate out. I'll just go ahead and thicken them up. And same thing over here. So center one and then two on the side. And then from there, let's draw her mouth. So I'm going to come from here to center of this eye to the other center of the other eye. So say about right here. And I'll just use that as my guide to draw a big curve all the way across. Then I'll just go ahead and thicken this right here. Thicken it up and shade it in. And then right in the center, I'm going to draw some lips. So about right here, I'll just give myself a point. One and then the bottom lip. Okay, so then from there, we're going to need to start to frame her face. So she, we have this curly um, hairdo on the top, and then her face is kind of like this oval shape. So let's keep that in mind. So I'll come to say about right here. Let's just find the center of her eye right here. And I'm going to basically just draw a curve right over to the other part of her eye, to center of her eye. So I'm just going to draw this center curve right here over her eye. And then let's see here. I'm going to bring this up. And bring this up and then bring this up a little bit more so I'm just kind of imagine I'm stopping about right there because this is kind of like where I'm going to start to draw this oval for her face so I just want to come out enough so that I can come around so about right here same thing on the other side about right there and then I'm going to bring it down to the center to about right here so I'll just give myself a point makes it easier since I'm drawing big so I know where I'm going and I'm just going to draw this big oval around for her head and connect at the bottom. There. Okay, so it's created this big um, oval for her face. And then let's come back over here and I'm going to continue this. So if you're using a pencil, just finish this oval first. I'll stop about right there. And say about right here. And then I'm going to swirl. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to swirl my way up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and thicken this up. For her hair do so just go all the way around and just bring it right back in here there so we just want to create this swirly shape on top so if it's easier you can just go like this and then go around if you're using a pencil then from there, let's come to the sides about right here. And we're just going to draw a curve that tapers in for more of her hair on the side. So same thing on this side, just taper it in. There, finally done with this part right here. Now, oh, then let's come to the side right here and I'll just draw a little band for her hair. Kind of in this little ponytail. 
And I'll stop for now because I need to draw, let's see, Huggy Wuggy and her body first before we figure that out. So let's come to the center and we're going to draw a little neck for her. And we're going to bring it to the side. It was this long neck, right? Kind of creepy that pops out. So I'm just going to give it a little curve and then I'll surround it as it comes out, right? And then let's come about right here. We're going to draw another oval that goes around right there. And then let's see, you know what? Let's surely I should have popped this out a little bit more. Let's bring this out a little bit more. bigger oval there. So I'll come in here real quick. Make her body a little bit bigger. Now that I have this oval in right here, and I'm going to come, this is my center, so say about right here. So just imagine this was my center. Curving it, and then right here, I'm just going to draw two curves. So this is the big top of her little outfit right here, and then in this area right here, I'm just going to draw another curve for some detail. And then I'm going to come right here, and we're going to draw her first, her one, her first arm. And so say about right here, I'm just going to go up, and I'll go ahead and thicken this, and. Just leave that here for now. And then on this side right here, this is where I want to draw Huggy Wuggy. So she's holding him right here. So I'm just going to imagine the other hand is about right here. So now that we know where her arms are going, in this area is where I'm going to draw Huggy Wuggy. So let's say about right here, I'll just start and draw his uh, head. So I'm going to come about right here and just draw this curve that goes up in this area. So kind of tilt it down because he's kind of limp because he's being held by the spider. So right here I'm just going to zigzag a little bit and then bring this down and bring this down right here for that shape. And then let's come about right here. I'm just going to draw a circle. So totally simplifying Huggy Wuggy here because it's all about the spider. And I'll just do a little highlight here for the eyes. And then let's draw a big mouth. Goes across the line in the center. And then right underneath right here is where I'm going to draw a hand. So the head is kind of tilted. So right here, I'm going to draw a thumb. So let's start right here. I bring in a curve right here. And another curve. Then in this area right next to this thumb, I'm going to add some fingers. So just draw a bunch of ovals. One, two, and three. Right here. So this is the beginning of the hand grabbing Huggy Wuggy. So using this as my curve, I'm going to bring this down. I promise it's going to make sense soon. <laughs> so then right about here, I'm just going to come down to zigzag a little bit. Huggy Wuggy has very, very furry, right? So then right here as well, you can zigzag and bring his arms down. So this is the other arm, then bring his body about right here and here. There, starting to make sense, right? So then let's come about right here. Just draw a little angle line and then this is where his legs are going to start. And I'm just going to make them fall down as well. So and let's bring this down, zigzagging here and there. And say about right here, I'll stop. Then here, make this one a little bit higher so it makes sense. And then feet and feet. nice and simplified hopefully and then for his hands let's bring this down and about right here just zigzag and hands and this side as well and hands 
there. Okay, so we have Huggy Wuggy in. And then, let's see here. Then from there, we're going to come about right here. We're gonna complete the hand. So, whatever space, so about right here. We're just gonna include that curve. And then about right here is where I'm gonna pop out a curve right here. So we're gonna complete her hand. Then from there, let's um, simplify this hand. So I'm gonna bring this around to say about right here. Bring it around to this part right here. So we can finish off this hand and then do the same thing, just thicken up the arm. So the nice thing is you can curve your hands however you want. It doesn't matter, just get creative. You just want it so that it doesn't get in the way of too many things when you're drawing these um, arms. So we have her holding it. Then on this side, um, well actually now we can go ahead and draw her body. So about right here, just gonna imagine an oval coming around. And here, I'm gonna pop out her body. So basically just another oval surrounding there. Okay, so then from there, let's, um, let's draw this arm. So let's come out. And to bring it down about right here. Simplify this side. Let's bring it down. And then right here, we're just going to bring a big curve and then connect. And then for her hand, she's going to come down, down, and then I'll just draw four fingers just to simplify it. And we're just going to curve one, two, three, and four right there. And then for her legs on this side, let's bring it about right in this area. And I'll just curl this one. So I'll just bring in a curl. Curl it all the way down to about right here. And about in this area, I'll stop. So kind of like hands and the feet are in the same area. Another cuff right here and then the shoe. There. Okay, so then on this side, we can go ahead and finish her hair. So let's come right here. We're gonna put in one strand first. Bring it all the way down. Just thicken it up. And then let's see here, let's add one curve right here. So there's three strands, so then I'll break it up right here. And just bring this down. Whatever space, it doesn't matter. You just wanna fill in wherever you want, you can. Here, I'll just put it in there. And then one more, right? So let's say about right here. Then I'll just curl this one up so it doesn't get in the way. There, so we're done with her hair. And then for her other leg. So her other leg will start about right here and I'll just try to put it out of the way. So Let's just bring this down and I'll end about right here. And once again, just end it. Curve and then the feet. And up there. Okay, so hopefully I didn't overcomplicate it. I really thought um, having her hold Huggy Wuggy was very important. So hopefully um, I helped you draw that part right here. 
And if you want to go all out, you can even put the whole door behind her and um, the perspective to make her look like she's crawling on the wall. But um, like I said, I hope I hope I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me today to draw this uh, cool mommy long legs from Poppy Playtime. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it and I helped you out, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.